Hello everybody, I'm Gary Brown here with another week's tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize the mobile version the mobile version of your website. I'm even going to show you how to add the WhatsApp button so that people can send you direct WhatsApp messages through your website. I'm going to show you a lot of other cool stuff that you can uh, do on your mobile version of the website. So let's get started. But before you get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to check out more Wix tutorials, you can check out from gaviimran.com or right here on this channel, you can search for the Wix tutorials. Alright, let's get started with customizing your mobile version of the website. And don't forget in the last video I showed you how to customize the footer. So in this video, let's talk about the mobile site. So to access the mobile site, simply use the mobile button up here, near, just near the desktop button up here. Once you click on that mobile button, it will take you to the mobile editor, the Wix website editor, of the Wix drag and drop website editor. And uh, just like we did, drag and drop means you can simply click on this button and drag it around whichever element you click on you'll get some options for example in this case i can reduce the size of the text and then i can use the controls to reduce the size of this button and then i can move the button into place just like that very easy drag and drop okay now if we scroll down to the footer you'll notice that we have a lot of big space here and i think this this happened because i did not group these uh, these two elements first of all that's uh, the good thing with the grouping if you want to group you simply click on one element and hold down shift to select the other element and then you click on group you can do uh, that type of editing via the desktop version not via the mobile but still in mobile you can do some cool stuff for example if i click on this line here i can just hide it i don't need it and then i can select these two elements to move them back into place and then again if i select on these icons i can reduce the space between these icons as well as i can change the size of these uh, social media icons just like that no coding <laughs> you don't even need to think about the code that's running in the background so if you want to reduce this space here, I can simply uh, go bring my, my mouse down here and reduce the height of this uh, section of this strip. Next, what else can we do with your website on the mobile? We can set up action buttons or quick actions. For example, this. let's add the WhatsApp button. So if you click on this icon right here, you can you, you can click. So, so it's called the quick actions bar. So if you click on the quick actions bar, you get the setup quick actions button. And then the website chat right now, that's what we have, which allows you to chat live with your visitors. You can even use use it to see which page they are visiting. Very interesting, very cool stuff in the Wix website builder. So click on the more actions button and you'll see more icons. Very many icons right here that you can add to your quick actions bar. For example, there's a phone number, there's a WhatsApp, there's a Facebook, Instagram, Yelp. A lot of cool stuff so for example if you wanted to add a youtube and a quick actions bar you simply go to more actions and click on youtube and the youtube icon will appear the next thing if you wanted to add the google my business go back to more actions button and click on the google icon what else can you do in the wix mobile website editor you can click on the layout button to align your quick actions bar either to the left or to the right and if you click on the settings you can choose whether to add text on these icons or not. And then the other button is the design button. If you click on the design button, you can choose colors. Or you can choose which color you want your icons to appear in. And you have many options here. For example, you can choose to keep them white or black, or you can leave them colored. So in my case, I'm not going to need the Google icon. So in fact, I can come in here and click on the three dots to delete this icon and then I want to add my WhatsApp. It's now time to add the WhatsApp button. So in this case, so go back to the three dots and click on setup to set up your WhatsApp so that people can be able to send you direct messages via your website. So what you need to do is simply put the phone number that is connected to your WhatsApp. It's recommended you have the WhatsApp business because it allows you to send automatic welcome messages and away messages when you're not online. So once you add the number, just click on done. So it's very rare to find someone who wants to add the YouTube link to the quick actions bar. 
but anyways if you want to do it just click on the setup to look for the youtube link i mean one of the last videos i showed you how to customize your youtube channel in that video i also showed you where you can find the link to your youtube channel why not show you anyway so very quick go to the youtube and look for your channel to look for your channel simply go to youtube.com and if you already signed in you just click on your profile photo and then you click on your channel go to the address bar up here and there uh, click in the link you select all of it use ctrl a to do that use ctrl c to copy the link come back to the wix the wix website mobile editor and then paste the link what else can we do with the mobile editor? If you click on the design button up here, you can customize the design when they click on the close button or when they open it. So you can change what colors to show if you want to add a drop shadow to it, whatever you want. And when it's closed, you can even change the color, which color it will appear when it's closed. So you can change the color right here by choosing any of these colors. You can even click on the add button to add your own color. Even the color codes, you can just simply paste the color codes down there in the corner if you see that. I'll close that and then, and then lastly, what you're going to look at is how to edit the menu. How can you edit your website, your mobile menu? So let's look at how to do that in the next video. <laughs> okay, not in the next video. Let's do that right now. So click on the mobile menu button and then you'll get many options here. Click on the customize button and then you can see, you can choose which colors to show when this thing is open and which colors to show when it's closed. Just like you have seen in the quick actions by design options. So again, with all these elements, you can click on this element and move it around, place it where you want it. So I think uh, those colors will be good and then you can choose... I'm going to look for colors uh, between this and maybe this okay next if you click on the uh, if you go back to customize design I uh, can be about you can be able to choose uh, the border the borders or the lines if you see these lines between uh, the text you can choose the color of the borders right here and you can choose the size of the border uh, next you can choose the radius if you want the button to be straight angles if you want to be some uh, round angles that's why you do it next you can choose the spacing uh, in between the lines that you can see inside the icon as well as the width as well as the size as well as the color of the separators these are these lines are called separators next if you go to text uh, you can simply choose things like the font the size of the font font size and mean you can make the, this text bold or italic from here you can even choose whether to align it to the left to the right or to the center just by a click of a button next you can choose the text color right here as easy as that all right next we have already looked at the border so i think that's it for the video so in this video i showed you how to add the whatsapp button on your wix website as well as uh, edit the menu and customize it however you want so I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more about Wix, you can check out more tutorials on this channel. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification button. Don't forget to leave some comments and hit the like button. Alright, thank you very much for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next video.